the idea is that this is going to be a really big community-filled production that will go around the whole of the museum. Things will pop up in different areas, but for today it's just telling a little bit of the story that we're going to tell about Betty Beecroft, but also all of the workers. We're heading to an incident uh, near the Kalagool area. There's quite a few motocross tracks around this area. And there's one there, there's a report of a 16-year-old with a leg injury, and the concerns are that he may have fractured his femur. We're probably getting called to motocross tracks. Often see patients who have come off at high speed or having fall from jumps. I mean, the nature of those injuries, you often see head injuries, spinal, I mean, it's that the whole body can be affected. Uh, in this instance, it looks like it's one of the log boats. We have an example of an early Mus'haf Quran and it's broken here but this is not the original and here is an original and it's handwritten, hand painted oh. using the gold and uh, different pigment paints. So you have to get really closely in to be able to see that design element. Even though I've not lived here for a long time I'm still rooted and connected to this estate. I've worked on some great TV shows. A lot of the roles that I play are working class, the, the who I am. It's not always about it being, if you're working class, you've struggled. But it's about what you do with it. These homes that will be, be the first family uh, housing to be built and delivered in the city centre in 90 years. Wow, the first family housing in the 90s. That is such a, a change. What we're trying to do here is trying to encourage people to move back into the city centres, mm. not take themselves out to the leafy suburbs of their city. 